What's up guys, welcome back. Um, I think I cracked the code with using the 165 grain Nosler Acubon long range bullets out of the 6.8 Western, and that is using my trusty old H4831 shortcut. Um, you know, it's fun using other powders, but at the end of the day, oh man, it's good to go back to the re old reliable and, and uh, get things to work for you. So, uh, brass prep was the same for everything. <clears throat> I kneeled it, uh, you know, shoulder bumped it, trimmed it and uh, set up my rows on the reloading tray. So I loaded up five for each uh, powder charge weights. I chose uh, my powder charge weights, uh, 58 and a half grains on up to 60 grains. Uh, historically, those that powder charge window has worked really well for me uh, with a plethora of different bullets that I've loaded for. Uh, so I figured that would give me the, my best shot with these bullets and yeah, they didn't disappoint. So. Let's just jump right to the shooting range and uh, I'll show you guys what uh, what they did. Right, uh, taking a closer look, uh, everything worked really well for these first three. Uh, this last powder charge weight of 60 grains, the groups opened up a little bit, uh, and my extreme spread and center deviations, like you saw on the screen, did trend upwards. Uh, the best group here was a 0.26 inch group. Velocity on that was 27.37, um, and my extreme spread was 46 feet per second. Uh, my best was the 50 and a half grains uh that was a 0.33 inch group with an extreme spread of five feet per second and a standard deviation 2.5 um this is the same charge weight that i use on my burger eols and i get really good consistency with so um yeah just right out the gate just came swinging hard and everything looks really good so um <clears throat> you know i've had a couple guys kind of throw some shade my way about my velocity numbers being a little low but um, you know, it is what it is when you're running in a shorter barrel. Um, I'm not shy of running like 2,700 feet per second. Um, you know, the ballistics coefficient of this bullet and its advertised minimum expansion velocity of 1,300 feet per second are working with are working with me on, on regards to making this a long-range hunting bullet. So um, anyway, um, I would say if you guys have a bunch of these bullets, um, H4831 shortcut might be a good powder to take a look at. Um, looks like it's pretty forgiving, so I wouldn't be afraid to load some of that up and see how it would shoot out of your rifle. I really don't think I need to do a seating depth test. Um, let me know what you think, but I think everything here is pretty promising. Uh, I think I'm going to leave things the way they are and load up some more and start shooting them at those longer ranges just to confirm my data, uh, just to see if they still hold that those uh, small groups at those longer ranges. So. Um, kind of based off what I've got going on, um, I think I'm going to do the 58 and a half grain powder charge weight. I, it's a little slower on velocity, but, um, you know, the group size is a, is a tenth of an inch smaller than, uh, than the 59 and a half grain powder charge weight, but those extreme spreader and standard deviations are quite a bit smaller. So that just allow, will allow me more consistency, uh, a little bit more room for air out at those longer ranges. Uh, with those smaller uh, extreme spread and standard deviation numbers. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys tonight. Super stoked that we got these to work uh, in the first preliminary test. Uh, expect to see uh, a couple more videos uh, in the near future uh, with some longer range shooting with this bullet, uh, just so we can gather some more data off of that. So anyway, guys, hopefully this uh, helped you guys with your 6.8 uh, Western loads with this bullet and this powder. Uh, if you guys found this information interesting and you guys like free content like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, everything that I do comes out of my own pocket and I like bringing the free content to you guys. So with that being said, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you on the next one.